farmer and welcome to Finney Electrical. Look at us, wind, wind sticks. We've got a few rivers knocking about, we're doing some solar. Let's get into this. Yeah, crikey, it's a bit, a bit steep round here. Look at it all. Oh. We've got this little Ford we're driving through. I think it's called, I won't say the name of the farm, but we're working on the farm. Oh my goodness. Ah, there's big rocks here. Oh, it's been the bumpiest ride in ever. Uh, so I think this is, there should be a lot of solar here and we're going to swap out an inverter. Basically the inverter's knackered so we've got a new inverter apparently that we've got to install. So, alright let's go find it. Oh that tree's going to hit us. Here we go right we're in. This is what we're dealing with. So hot bits have come. A little battery kit. We've got the actual Oh, we've got a Solis, oh it's not a Solis, it's something this one, so 3.6 in, uh, kilowatt inverter, so single phase, that'll be a hybrid inverter, and then we've got a battery, so it's a pylon tech battery, so it's US 3000C, so we'll be installing this in a little cupboard. Oh, look at views, lovely views aren't they? So I've got, just down the way, literally just around the corner, it's my, uh, my Nana's caravan, which is lovely. <laughs> on the way out, I recognise this this thing. Yeah, just over that field there, there's a like, load of static caravans. Uh, so yeah, it was a nice little blast from the past. Crikey, look at it. <laughs> yeah, then see so a little isolator, DC isolator. So I'm just gonna check this power here, really. So it should be pos neg, pos neg. So if Finn just told that, here's my little multimeter. So what we'll do, we'll bang it on amps. So it measures up to 10 amps, this thing. So you want your uh, look in here, red in here. I'm just going to test to see if we've, we've even got any uh, any solar. So this will actually send the current through this, so we might get a little flash. I think we need all this. Lot of time is. We're not getting out on that one. Look at that, this panel's knackered. Mm. You have to do it really quick, you get you better get flashes. Yeah, we also just leveled everything up then. So we've got pause that side, neg that side. Look at yeah, it just goes pause neg, pause neg. So well, we're just gonna pull this out. Obviously it isolators off. These are all dead or just pull these out of here. There we go. And then this is like the most awkward install ever, because with these inverters there will be some fixing screws to the side and you can't get your hand there can you so and you, you can't even see where they are oh, so we're basically gonna have to just rag this off a wall <laughs> and there's a flipping isolator attached to it in there if you see the full on isolator attached to the actual box itself which is a bit of a bottle in it look at it little screw coming through nice so we'll kill the power to it and trick all this is dead just get the mains and try and get this off of you there we go, it just kind of just came, didn't it? So, yeah, it's just attached to the side. Oh, let's just pull that off now, that's dead, we've already killed that. Let's uh, get them in there. Right, that's the open door. Yeah, it's, a bit, yeah, it's a bit tight in here, isn't it? Oh. Right, let's get this outside then. It's awful, isn't it? Yeah, bud. Yep. In that hint. In fact, we hit it full off first. Hello. Tip floor, maybe. Alright. Right, straight outside then to me to you. Got the Chuckle Brothers here. Oh, crikey. Right then. Give me an impact driver. We'll take this bracket off. And then what we'll do. We'll get a little, light, little isolator. We'll bang him up here somewhere. We'll go to isolator into new inverter. Whoa. And we'll have to rerun these cables. Get some ends on, put them into the inverter and find somewhere for battery. Fins on it. Mr. Screw Extraordinaire. You like doing this stuff there? Yeah, I've been practicing. Mm. Reminds me of that film, you know cars? Where the <laughs> change the tires, they're quick. I thought you were going to go like Fast and Furious, but he means like cars, the kids TV show. But it's like... <laughs> What's he called? Williamson. Uh, uh. Wiley. Oh, is it falling? 
McFarlane. can't because there's one screw left there you missed. There's loads on there, there's 12 on there. Mm -hmm. Count them. There we go, so we've got a little uh, sun sink. We sat. Got a bit of foam there to protect the edge. So what we're going to do is measure up this bracket. When it sits on it, just slots into that groove. So we're going to measure from that groove there to the top of it. And we're going to match that. But bear in mind, if you put this on here, yeah, we need enough room for the full unit to sit higher to go back and then slot down. So we've got to bear that in mind. And Finn's going to have a go at this one, isn't he? So, now you might mark middle of, middle of this hole yeah. and then get that on then. We'll lift this on. So Finn's fixed that. Well done. That's nice little that. This fits on like a little baby. Oh, I need an hand underneath. There we go. Beautiful. Well done, Finn. So you see it just nice and flush. And then all we have to do is get a little screw through the side. Just to lock it on so it can't get pulled up again. Easily done. H. We've got an H. What do you think, Finn? Is it going to fit in there? Oh, we've got the width of that. That is, oh, well, it's not. <laughs> that is made to measure that, isn't it? That's not. So I have to cut the cupboard. Do you want to just kick it back a bit? Yeah. Oh, what's wrong? <laughs> Stuck his fingers out. They're really heavy, these batches. Yeah, let's give it a little kick. Does that go all the way to the back? Oh, yeah, a bit much. That's alright, though, that. That's fine. Yeah. Look at that. That's perfect, isn't it? Not cables go whoop, straight in. Easy. Might be there. And then. All we've got to do is extend these now to these little uh, PV plugs. I just plug them in. Easy. Battery connections here. Got some comms cables to go in. Grid. And that's it. Easy. Yeah, let's so Finn's here. Finn's going to tell me where this cable goes. So this is the cable from the isolator that we've just done. So, what do you think? Oh. Well, gen, load, grid, com, com one, to, com two. Thomas Diaz. Load. No. It's load or grid. What do you think? What is this cable? Is it from, is it from the grid, is it? Or is it going to a load? I, I don't know. What's a load? It means lots of things. Right. What's a load? I'm not so sure. Right, so load will be anything you put onto it. So anything after this will be the load, won't it? Oh, it's just going into here. No, well, no, you, you, you can buy circuits from this, but it's the grid connection, this is your mains connection. So that goes into... Have you heard of the grid, where you, you, your main cable's coming oh. in, it's called the grid, the grid side. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's right. so this is the grid side, isn't it? So we'll bang that in, in grid. It's got like a little nipple. Oh, Finn's popular. Right. Pocket it through, it should burst a little, little membrane. You push up, push up, push up, push up, push up, push up. and then pop again. There we go, and then all we're going to do is <coughs> get that little tight end, and that's it. So yeah, it's just live, neutral, and then this little curly whirly just clamps onto here, and that's earth, there we go. There we go, that's the grid connection in, so that's just line and neutral, and then your earth just kind of lugs on there. Now we've got this connector then, so this is the Pylon Tech battery that's gone in. These are mint, you know, take that little nipple off to the left, mate. Nipple? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> what are you doing? Right, go then. Pull the nipple. Just pull this off. That's okay. Okay, that's that one. So, there we go, big pull. So this is a satisfying click. You ready? So this, this little end just kind of goes on there. You listen in. It'll do it. Oh yeah, that was a nice click. Right. So that, I'll have to get that up. And then it's just, if you look here, uh, neg in the left, pause in the right, and it just goes neg and pause. So we'll get that connected up next. Right then, so the cable that comes with it, it's just a normal data cable. Now we need, we need to make up a cable which connects up in the following sequence. I had to get it yesterday for a, another job we went to. Uh, so let's find that. I sent the guy a W. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. So this is the wire configuration, if you can see it, but there's, there's a battery end. Which wires uh, one, I think it's one, four, and seven. I have to count up. And basically, you see that orange, so that one would go to the inverter side of four. So one would go to four, eight would go to two, and 
I think four goes to five. But basically, you've got to wire up different ends to different pins, and then it will talk to each other. So I don't know why they've not just done an RJ45 end to end, and it just works. As soon as you plug it in, you have to make up a special cable. And I'm there. So I'll get that wired up then. Yeah. The dogs are gone. Yeah, then so this is the little pin then. So you put it on its belly like that on its back. And these pins, you go one to eight, so there's one to eight holes. And they, these line up with this diagram. So if you look there, well, it's two, four and five. So two is brown. So what I do is get them really long like that. Make sure you get it in, so two, four and five. Uh, so we've got brown, orange, white and blue. And then I've got this little crimper. Oh, let's get some here. Let me know. Right. Nice little crimper. And it should chop off the cables once it's been terminated. Let's pop them in there. Make sure that's going to clamp down on the insulation. It should chop. Did it chop? It did chop. It should crimp at the same time. So just give it a little tug. And that's right. That you don't see you don't see it moving in the end. So that's correct. So that's one side done. That's the inverter side. You can see that. And then we're just going to do the uh, battery side. So it goes one, uh, one, two, three, four, four. So one, five, and eight. Orange, white, blue and brown. Agonising this is to try and get in. So orange, white's going to go to one. So it's going to go one, and then two, three, four, one, five, six, seven, eight. One, five, eight in that order. Orange, white, blue. So what I've done is just staggered them just to make it a bit easier. So that's going into one, five. I've done it actually with this. Look, at, I've done it in one. One. It's really hard to tell. One, two, three, four. I'll go one, four, eight. There's one, five, eight. So that blue one needs to move over because I've staggered them. And then you can kind of pull one out, shift it over a little bit, and then send them in again. Let's have a look. Now I've gone two this side. But how did that fall out? Right, two, one, five, and eight. <laughs> Great viewing. It's gone back to two again. One. All right, so one that one's in. And then one, two, three, four, five, and then it's the end, eight. M might be it. No, it's jumped to two again. Right, one, two, six, oh my goodness, right. Go in, number one. That's what, one, five, and eight. I'm going to seven. Right, here we go. I think we're there. Why wow, that jumped? How's that even jumped? Is that impossible? Alright, one. <laughs> one. Oh, right, you see, it's a well annoying trying to get lazy. Here we go, so that's plugging into camp part there. And over here, we should, at the moment it's all zeros, if you can see that, we should get. Bang it back here. So I plug this into camp, we should start getting some, some battery things from that. I'm going to turn it on actually first. Uh, so you flip the switch on, let's give it a long press, it should power up, and we should start getting some information on this screen in a bit. There we go, so that's that little CAN cable then, so it goes CAN to CAN, it's an inverter side and a battery side, and that's what you should get. So 49.3 volts, basically it just tells you the temperature, if it overheats this cable will stop the battery working. Um, shows, you, shows you the charge current limit, 37 amps, discharge current, 37 amps, 53.2 volts, battery charge voltage, so that's everything you need to know. So on the main screen it shows the state of charge, 50%. Oh, alright, well, uh, obviously it's dark now, so the solar's not going to work when the solar kicks in. Obviously it all wires back by this isolator here, so the two strings in, two strings in, they go up to there. So that's uh, solar array one, solar array two, or string one, string two. And when that's generating uh, any export, it will send to the battery uh, via a CT clamp, which we need to put over the mains cables. So we will get a chance to do that today, because it's, uh, it's knocking on a bit. I'm going to get a cable all the way around the house. But essentially, this CT clamp, you can extend it 100 meters. Uh, it needs to go onto the main cables going to the house. It'll measure the ex any export and any uh, load of the house basically so that's how it works so there we go so if there's any load on the house the battery will kick in and uh, 
basically send out that much just so it's you're not using it and there we go and we'll just turn this on then so that's on there we go that's the d that's the dc coming in now turned on uh so when it's nice and sunny you'll see a solar or generation you'll see the ac load of the house whenever that ct clamp gets put on and then we've got the battery uh there we go do you get this if you're the night tariff you can get this to charge at night so you'd kind of go into your settings you'd go into your system mode like that and then using this menu here you can get it to charge up to 100 percent using the grid overnight and click use timer click ok and then during the night you can charge to 100 percent and uh there we go and things uh will be working but if we use this time mode during the day you just want to discharge to fully there we go, that's all as far as we can take it really. So it's all get that CT clamp, it can't measure the site's load, it can't measure an export and then pull into the battery. Um, so it can do that. <laughs> all the only thing it can do is, it, well, yeah, it can't really do much really. Um, but yeah, it needs to see that load to then discharge that amount of load. So it needs a CT clamp on. So yeah, they could do it with like a wireless CT clamp here that you can clamp it on there, measure the load, and just wirelessly send it to a little module that'll just wind to here. I know uh, Eddie do, does it, not Eddie, uh, My Energy do it. They've brought a smart card called a Libby, and you can get a, a little thing called Harvey, which is like a big wireless up to 100 meters. So that'd be awesome if all brands had that. But I asked the technical on phone if they did a wireless one of the dope. So I'll have to come back and get that CT in whenever we can. If you like this kind of content, hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the little bell notification so you know when we next upload. As always, everyone from me, and I'll see you on the next one.